there's been some very interesting research on intermittent fasting recently, and one surprising one that just got published in March of this year will very likely change the way you both eat and fast. In this video, we'll cover these three studies and specifically how important the timing is of when you eat versus fast, new findings related to weight loss effectiveness, and also the importance of what you eat during your eating windows and the big impact it has on weight loss and health success. My name is Joe Guevara and I analyze the science and research behind fasting nutrition, fitness and longevity. The sponsor of this video is Canadian Protein, my favorite lab tested supplement source, more on them later in the video. But without further ado, let's dive right in. The first two studies we'll review examines early time restricted feeding or ETRF and these studies showed how important meal timing is. By definition, ETRF involves eating meals earlier rather than later in the day, and interestingly, this virtually mirrors the result of Dr. Sachin Panda's work at the Salk Institute around the same topic, but his research had a greater focus on circadian rhythm and health. A deeper dive video to come soon on this topic, so subscribe if you want to get notified. I was actually looking at the study and surprised that it wasn't actually co-authored by him. The study showed that ETRF improved insulin sensitivity, reduced inflammation, enhanced gut microbial diversity, and balanced out cortisol levels, noted when individuals ate earlier in the day and fasted later in the day. This means that, according to these two studies, aligning intermittent fasting eating windows as early as possible within your schedule is probably going to help your overall health, your stress levels, and potentially even your immunity. It definitely highlights the potential benefits of shifting meal times earlier in the day with a focus on starting the end times of your eating window at least three to six hours before you sleep to gain the best health outcomes. This is something that I'm slowly switching to myself after doing OMAD for about three years now and primarily eating dinner as my only meal of the day. Now the third study published just in March of this year, 2023, was conducted on obese individuals for about a year and eight months comparing three different weight loss methods a standard low calorie diet, a higher protein diet, and an intermittent fasting approach, specifically the 5-2 method where you completely fast or only eat up to 5 to 600 calories two days of every week. The most interesting finding in the study is that the high protein group displayed the most significant reductions in body fat and weight loss along with a better blood lipid profile. The study reinforces the idea that diet quality does indeed matter, emphasizing that just because you fast, it doesn't mean that you're automatically going to become healthy or lose weight. Combining a high protein diet with intermittent fasting leads to effective body recomposition, something that I've been inadvertently doing for the past three years with my OMAD lifestyle while lifting weights and supplementing with whey protein in addition to a higher protein diet in eggs and meat, but not exclusively keto or carnivore. The findings clearly show that using intermittent fasting with low quality meal choices that don't have a balanced macro or micronutrient profile do very little for your health, or as I like to say, you can't outfast a bad diet. The study highlights the importance of consuming meals rich in protein, fat, and fiber. So let's take a look at the practical takeaways on how you can integrate these three studies into your own lifestyle and goals. But first, if you need a boost for your own protein intake to make sure you're getting enough, you'll probably want to take a look at the sponsor of this video, Canadian Protein. I partnered with them because they have certified and third-party lab-tested supplements across the board, so you know you're getting quality supplements compared to what you would typically see on retail shelves or Amazon. Not to mention, they also sell wholesale, so you can get prices similar to or better than Costco and Amazon, and they have free shipping to both Canada and the US. As a Rehash Fitness viewer, the first 150 subscribers to go to this link and make an order will get a 15% off discount. So definitely check them out if you're in the market for high quality supplements. So how do you take advantage of these studies? Well, the data suggests that the most effective way to both live healthier, gain the effect of fasting, as well as lose weight is having your meal timings fit as early in the day as possible in your schedule. As a personal trainer and health coach though, the biggest caveat here is that I've said and will continue to say across all my videos, regardless of what's optimal, if you can't be consistent and if it's not sustainable for your personal lifestyle, then optimal is pointless. So at the very least, try to move your meal timing earlier in the day and restrict your food intake as long as possible before you go to bed at night, which is also supported by Dr. Panda's research on circadian rhythm and health. 
Ultimately, the big takeaways from this video can be summed up as follows. When you break your fast, as well as what you break your fast with, matters just as much as how long your actual fast is for overall health. Especially if you're aiming to lose fat as a goal, consuming protein-rich meals in addition to fasting is highly beneficial, not just for your health, but at the rate at which you can actually lose fat, especially when paired with resistance exercise, not just cardio. Let us know in the comments below whether or not you already eat a high protein diet as part of your lifestyle and how it's working out for you. And if not, if this study might change your own eating habits. If you do like this kind of content and are new to the channel, definitely check out our fasting science series that I'll link to up here. Also, if you want the nitty gritty details on the studies, summaries, and transcripts of this and all of our videos, you can check out the show notes on our website at rehashfitness.com. Otherwise, if you've watched this far and enjoyed the content, please do like and subscribe since it helps the channel immensely. I post here on YouTube and all social media at Rehash Fitness. Again, my name is Joe Guevara, and with that, I hope you all stay curious, stay healthy, stay happy, and I'll see you all in the next one.